Example 24. Compute the flow rate over a weir considering the following situations. A V-notch weir with, a, with an apex angle of 60 degrees and a head of 300 mm and coefficient of discharge 0.62. An isosceles trapezoidal weir with side sloping 30 degrees from the vertical, head of 300 mm and crest length of 1 meter and coefficient of discharge 0.62. Then a sepulati wear is used under a head of 300 mm and a length of crest of 1 meter. So for the V-notch wear, Q is equal to 8 over 15, C square root of 2G tangent of quantity theta over 2, then head to the 5 halves. 8 over 15 coefficient B search square root of 2G tangent theta over 2 head to the 5 halves. So everything is given, substitute 8 over 15.62 square root of 19.62 tangent of 60 degrees over 2, then 0.3 to the 5 halves. So Q is equal to 0 0.04169 cubic meter per second. Then for the second part, Q is equal to Q of rectangle plus Q of v -notch. Since the sides are sloping 30 degrees from the vertical, the other also 30 degrees from the vertical, so the apex angle for the triangular part will be 60 degrees, which is the same as in 24 in part 1. So, although Q is Q of rectangle, 2.953 Cl h to the 3 halves plus 8 over 15 C square root of 2G tangent of theta over 2 h to the 5 halves. So, for the v part, this is 0 0.04169. We only compute for the rectangular part 2.953.621 times uh, 0.3 to the 3 halves plus 0.04169. So Q equals 0.3425 cubic meter per second. Then for the last part for Sepulati, where Q is 1.859 LH to the 3 halves. So Q is 1.859 times 1 times 0.3 to the 3 halves. So Q is 0.3055 cubic meter per second.